Dear students, please note down. The PDF file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture. Please download your notes. In today's lecture, we will cover two important topics. One is leg of cockroach. And second topic is fat body corpora adiposa. Two important topics in this lecture I will cover. First of all, I will discuss leg of cockroach. Dear students, leg of periplaneta americana, leg of insect. In case of cockroach, three pairs of legs are present on thoracic region. As we know, thorax is divided into three segments. First segment is prothorax, second is mesothorax, and the last thoracic segment is metathoracic segment. On each thoracic segment, a pair of legs are present. On the basis of position of legs, these are named prolex, which are present on prothoracic segment. A pair of legs are present on mesothoracic segment are named mesolegs and dear students a pair of legs are present on metathoracic segment so these are named meta legs it means in case of cockroach in case of insects in case of periplaneta three pairs of legs so these are placed in class hexapoda Dear students, these are placed hexapoda, having three pair of legs. Prolex on prothoracic segment, mesolex on mesothoracic segment, and metalex are present on metathoracic segment. In case of cockroach, structure of all prolex, mesolex, and metalex, structure of all legs similar. Each leg is divided into five joints means five podomeres and these are five segments five podomeres of each segment are named coxa second one is stroke enter third joint is femur fourth is tibia and the last segment of each leg is tarsus first segment first podomere, first joint, that is coxa. This is a small, hard, widest part of each leg. And it involves in the articulation of the leg with the thoracic segment. It means this coxa helps in articulation with the thoracic segment. The second joint that is stroke enter, it is smallest triangular structure which articulates movably with the coxa. But this stroke enter is perman permanently fused with this femur. This third joint, this third podomere that is femur, it is the stoutest, strongest part of leg. And it possesses fine sensory bristles. The fourth part, the fourth joint, fourth podomere of cockroach leg is tibia. And this tibia, it is the longest cylindrical structure and it possesses fine spines-like structures. And these are named spiny tibial spurs. And the last segment is of each leg is tarsus. This tarsus is further divided into one, two, three, four, five segments. These are five tarsomeres, five segments of tarsus. And this last segment of this tarsus is this terminal part is, it is pre-tarsus. And this terminal part consists of a pair of class as well as between these two class a soft hairy pad is present and on each tarsomere these are 
soft adhesive pads are present these adhesive pads are named aerolium or plantule and this terminal segment possesses a pair of claws and this soft hairy pad is it is pulvillus this hairy pad and these tarsomere pads which are plantule as well as these claws are involved in fast running habit because the animal is cursorial the cockroach is cursorial it shows fast running habit for that purpose these adhesive pads plantule these claws and this soft hairy pad pulvillus are involved in case of leg of cockroach five joints five podomeres first one is coxa this one is the widest part by which this leg articulates with the thoracic segment the second part is that is stroke enter it is triangular competition students please note down this one is the widest part by which the leg articulates with the thoracic segment this is the smallest triangular part of the leg and this one is the third part that is femur it is strongest part of the leg it possesses fine sensory bristles and this one is the fourth part which is longest part of the leg it is tibia and this tibia possesses spines named spiny tibial spurs and the last segment that is tarsus it is further divided into five tarsomeres and five segments and this last tarsal segment it is pretarsus that possesses a pair of claws and one hairy pad that is pulvillus and on each tarsomere segments one to fourth adhesive pads are there and these adhesive pads are named plantule or aerolium these adhesive pads and claws are involved in cursorial fast running habit of the animal this is all about leg of cockroach in case of cockroach leg which is divided into five parts coxa trochanter femur tibia tarsus and this tarsus is further divided into five segments these are tarsomeres the second important topic in today's lecture i will cover that is fat body dear students this is fat body very important for competitive exams it is corpora adiposa and this fat body it is whitish mass of connective tissue and this fat body is present all over the elementary canal it means this fat body is present in pre visceral sinus in that cavity this whitish mass of connective tissue is present and this fat body consists of four types of cells very important each and every point note down the following important cells of fat body urate cells dear students as name indicate urate cells it means these are excretory cells which absorb nitrogenous waste products from the body fluid that is hemo hemolymph in tomorrow's lecture i will discuss circulatory system of cockroach in that topic i will cover the body fluid that is hemophil hemolymph as well as i will discuss the different sinuses cavities of cockroach in tomorrow's lecture the urate cells these are excretory cells as we know from the body fluid hemolymph these urate cells absorb nitrogenous waste products and these urate cells synthesize uric acid because the animal is uricotelic as it removes uric acid as main excretory product second type of cells of this fat body these are 
माइसिटोसाइट्स एस नेम इंडिकेट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स माइसिटोसाइट्स इन दीज सेल्स सिम्बायोटिक बैक्टीरिया आर प्रेजेंट एंड द सिम्बायोटिक बैक्टीरिया इन दीज माइसिटोसाइट्स विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन द सिंथेसिस ऑफ अमीनो एसिड्स सिंथेसिस ऑफ ग्लाइकोजन फ्रॉम ग्लूकोज as well as these symbiotic bacteria synthesize vitamins for the animal third type of cells these are trophocytes as name indicates trophocytes and these trophocytes which are special type of cells which store nutrient substances food substances which are food like fats like glycogen and proteins and the fourth type of cells very important for competitive exams these are enocytes these are special type of cells which are involved in metabolism as these enocytes secrete some substances for malting ecdysis dear students this is all about leg of cockroach that is divided into five podomeres five joints first one is coxa second is trochanter coxa is widest part by which this leg articulates with the thoracic segment this one is the smallest triangular trochanter and this one is the femur which is strongest part this is the longest part which is tibia and this last part tarsus which is further divided into five tarsomeres and in case of fat body which is whitest connective tissue mass and this fat body which is corpora adiposa that lies all over the gut in periviscral sinus and this fat body consists of four types of important cells ureth cells are nitrogenous cells excretory cells which absorb nitrogenous substances and synthesize uric acid the animal is uricotelic and the second type of cells which are mycetocytes these mycetocytes having symbiotic bacteria to synthesize amino acids which synthesize glycogen proteins and vitamins enocytes are special type of cells and these enocytes involved in metabolism these enocytes secrete some substances for malting ecdysis of the animal and the trophocytes the name indicate very clear trophocytes food storing cells having reserve food and these cells store fat glycogen and proteins this is all about leg of cockroach and fat body of cockroach in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss very important topic that is circulatory system of cockroach thank you